morning. Oh, well, my case, morning doesn't count because I never went to bed. Uh, <laughs> although, in case anybody's wondering, I did have my coffee. Um, we're going to do for this channel something called a Let's Defend series. This is going to be defending. Sorry, I had to pop my ears for a second. Um, games that typically get poked fun at or criticized for whatever reason. And we're going to try and look at the issue from another perspective. First game on the bug, believe it or not, is Robot Unicorn. Yes. A game that has over 4 million plays on AdultSwim.com needs defending. Why? Well, let me, how do I put this? I obviously have this site as my home page. And occasionally I like to type in Robot Unicorn Attack to see if anybody's put up any Let's Plays or any reviews about the game using actual footage from the game. And I don't think I've seen anything really bad, but there was one person that had me kind of going and rolled my eyes because he did a he did a two part thing. And over the course, I think he called the game the gayest thing he's ever seen or something. Now, let me ask this question. How many Red Blood men have actually played a Mega Man game? I'll raise my hand now because I've played, I think, every one up to... up to the newest one on the regular series and almost all the X series games. Let's understand something. Okay. I, I get it. I get the whole thing because rainbow typically is the symbol for the gay community. Great. So you're thinking it's like the gay. So you're thinking like, oh my god, it's a gay game. First off, it's on AdultSwim.com, and if you're not adult enough to play it, you shouldn't be. Or if you don't have the mature mindset enough to play the game and just enjoy it for what it is, you shouldn't be. That's an opinion. Second off, um, when you play a Mega Man game, have you ever thought about this? You're a male robot who's actually trying to catch another guy. Hmm. Now, <laughs> I... I Trust me, I get it. That's not th the context Capcom was trying to put it in. But if you really stopped and think, to stop to think about it, yeah, you could put it in that context. You have a male robot, a going around blowing up other male robots, in order to catch another guy, a human guy. Hmm. And it's never been brought to anybody's attention that the closest thing to a female in the game has been, oh yeah, a robot. By the way, I'm referring to Roll or in Mega Man 9, the, the lone boss known as Splash Woman who happened to be a mermaid and the weakest character in the game. Interesting. But it never, ever, ever crossed anybody's mind that could, you know, be a little weird. I'm just saying. Yes, I know I probably took that reviewer. Yes, I know you could probably sit there and say that about 100 games, but let's face facts. Robot Unicorn has over 4 million plays. Not 4,000, not 400, not 40, not 4. 4 million. And while its rating is probably around 7.1, it actually should be better because guess what? The game is not bad. Anybody wants to criticize the music because of the song, 
let's let's face facts, that's probably one of the selling points of the game, even though the game is actually for free. Yes, I know. So those people who want to be, I don't want to say critical, but poke fun at the game. Well, yes, the game is probably meant to be a joke. It is actually one of the most addicting and fun games to come out in probably the past couple of years, and it's free. If you don't have to, so you don't have to pay sixty bucks and think, oh dear God. Plus, anybody that's willing to sit there and play the game for five minutes, I guarantee is you're addicted to it. I mean, hell, I was playing it at like three o'clock this morning, and I and I beat my personalized scores. On my personalized scores, I'm still not where it's like sixty thousand, which is where I want to be. But what the hell? Like I've actually seen where people have titled videos on YouTube, and it says. Let's lose some manliness and play. Or uh, one person called the one person that did a review said, um, "It's the gayest game ever." Or they're during their review, and it's like, okay, you're calling it that, yet you did a two-part review of the review slash walkthrough or let's play the game. So, what's that say about you? I'm just saying, we shouldn't be too quick to judge a game because of any uh, pictures or other uh, issues that we may personally have with. Because again, I mean, this can go right in with my whole thing about, you know, K. Nightwing and his beliefs as far as when it came to his Assassin's Creed 2 review. But let's be perfectly honest. If we put aside our phobias about homosexuality or any of this and actually sit down and just sit there and play the game for even five minutes, you might actually enjoy the games. You might actually enjoy the game and you might be able to say, you know what? Those four of them, those people that played the game, that have, by the way, so there's some people that have really six scores. I saw two, I saw two scores on there. Some some people clocked in over thirty million. Like, dude, what the hell? And here's the and here's the other thing people have to understand. Because they're just usernames, you can't really tell if the person playing the game is a man or a woman. So, to judge anyone and say, oh, that person's gay because they play such and such a game. No. They might actually enjoy the game. Yes, I was shown the game by a female, but guess what? I play it because it's a fun game. I don't play it because... It's a hyped game because it's not. Go watch Cartoon Network or something, or go watch um, any other network outside of Cartoon Network and tell me how much the game gets hyped. It doesn't. But yeah, it's a very fun game, and it needs to be looked at as just a fun game. My name is Amos Bro, and this has been the first ever Let's Defend for Robot Unicorn Attack.